Hi folks, thank you for joining me. I'd like to do a demonstration with the brand new pen. This is from Santini, it's called the Giant 8. Uh, and it's notable because this is Santini, as Santini makes their own, their own in-house nibs. But here what they did is expand into a larger format size nib. This is their size 8 nib. Um, it doesn't exactly correspond exactly to the Mont Blanc, which is supposed to be a 149 nine, number 9 nib. Uh, this number eight nib by Santini, uh, I'm not quite sure how they size it, but it's actually larger than the uh, Mont Blanc 149. This is a beautiful, what they call lava, lava ebonite pen with gold trim. And it's notable that the Greek key cap band here is actually vermeil, uh, gold plating over sterling silver. There's actually a sterling silver mark on this uh, pen. And this is also a limited edition in each color of 33 pens total. This pen is number 28 of 33, and I got this beautiful brand new number eight Santini nib, which is actually quite large, um, with an EF nib, uh, an EF point. Now this is a European style EF, which means it's not quite as thin as the, uh, or narrow a, a line as you get with a Sailor or a, a Platinum uh, uh, e extra fine nib. And so I've got this, of course, uh, inked up with my trusty Yamabudo ink, uh, the Urushizuku Yamabudo. This is actually a piston filler or a plunger, whatever you call it. Uh, you twist it back to uh, bring the plunger forward. You twist it back to, to, uh, to fill the pen. And this has, if, if you hear that clicking, but it must be a captured converter in this pen, but it's a beautiful pen, nice large size. This is actually slightly larger than the Mont Blanc 149 in pen girth. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a little writing demonstration here um, and show you how the pen writes. So that was a um, capital S that was done with some muscular movement. Uh, that's not something I normally do. There are people much better at that style of writing, but the speed gives you an even thinner line, uh, but it's not speed for the sake of speed. So let me go ahead and write my slow, my slow lowercase letters now. Uh, I write very slowly, as I've told people before. What I do is draw letters. This is not cursive writing. There are people that can do cursive writing beautifully well. I am not one of them. I'm a more of a calligrapher when it comes to handwriting, but it serves. Um, so again, I draw letters. And I'm writing Santini. And finally finish off with some dots above the eye. And finally, a crossbar on the T. Okay. And one of the reasons I like to use a little bit of speed sometimes is to test the actual nib to make sure that the you know, ink tracks with the nib. And so one of the ways I like to do this is by doing some flourishes. And you've seen me do this before, but I'll go ahead and do a, a, a feather quill pen. And this happens very, very quickly. I lay my, my arm on the desk and I arc the arm back and forth. I'm gonna turn this a little bit more. I lay the pen down and execute it. And you can see that this nib tracks beautifully well. Uh, you can actually turn the nib over and get a really fine line if you want. Uh, and then finally, the feather portion and a little curly cue. And there you have a writing sample with this beautiful new Santini Giant 8. This is their Lava Ebonite pen. They have a few different Ebonites available. And um, I thank you for your time. I would highly recommend this pen if you like larger pens. I, you know, the large nib is a big attraction to me. Plus, uh, this is an in-house made nib, which is really special in my opinion. Uh, thank you.